All right, here we go again. This is Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saiken. We're trying to speed run the game in only four months on War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man with permanent dark events. And an important mission ahead of us, Operation Shadow Tomb, with uh, just uh, eight enemies. But those eight enemies are pretty damn powerful. Specifically the Advent Max and the Mutant are highly armored and we do not have a great way of dealing with that yet i feel we do have shredder which is okay but given that those guys are able to take quite a pun uh, punch i'm not sure how well we're going to do the reaper is tired um, boom boom is tired as well so divad is going to go on this mission together with sane pablo perez and yeah, let's get our other uh, specialist in the mix. Just equipping uh, the equipment real quick, uh, real quick. Uh, tailing rounds and um, dragon rounds for a little bit more oomph. We got modified weapons for everyone. Yeah, we got the advanced stock here. Let me just color code the weapon so that I know that it is a modified weapon. Perfect. So all in all, that seems like a pretty decent team. Let's see what we can do. And let's first and foremost hope the Chosen is not going to show up. And here we go again. So... That's a pretty long distance, but the good news is we got a few uh, pieces of high ground in between, so that might be our saving grace. I don't like that donut building. I mentioned that a couple of times. Let's take a look what we're up against. Might as well take the high ground right here and here. When it comes to walking on rooftops and knowing that the enemy has mechs, I am a big fan of just spreading out. Alright, very good. I'm a big fan of spreading out, mainly because the mechs, once they are triggered, will try to hit you uh, with rockets as soon as more than two creatures are standing next to, uh, more than two operatives are standing next to one another. And that's something that we might want to prevent by just a bit more clever positioning. All right. That's definitely another pack here. Uh, there's always a pack between you and the uh, the objective. So how about we're positioning ourselves like here? Heading to that location. Getting a bit closer. Same here for Sane. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we've just found the other group of hostiles. Definitely want to be far enough away from them. We'll do. Perfect. They are coming a bit closer, which is just the right distance for us. All right, good starter. We got 10 rounds, so. Let's not make that a longer, uh, longer standoff than it needs to be. Yeah, we're, we're starting with the Advent Priest.
mainly because he's using stasis and if we're all focusing on the mech the priest will survive and using stasis is just so bad for us This year, on the other hand, it's pretty bad for the Mac. I think we can position ourselves down here without triggering anything. And this here will remove a lot of the wall, hopefully provide line of sight, will cause shredding and some falling damage. There we go, some extra falling damage. That is exactly what we wanted. So if we are moving into here and here, this is a solid wall, so they can't see through it. Hundred percent chance to hit. Okay. Just trying to not trigger the other pack. All right, so that is a bit advanced. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I don't want to go any closer. It's fine for now. Might as well just put an overwatch here. Slowly but surely advancing. <sighs> Ouch, that's a pretty strong pack. Let's start with Divert here. We're definitely going for the Stun Lancer first. That is unfortunate to say the least. Still got the option for the stun lancer. Yeah, Pablo stands in the open. We could theoretically go here. That'll open up. The whole problems, uh, a whole set of problems with the mutant. But we can also go to here. On my way. Can't stand in the open, that's just not feasible. Saint Hates uh, takes the 8 protocol, which, given that he's already in full cover, makes it even a bit better. And we're overwatching against the Sun Lancer. Who, by the way, if we would be hitting it, I was about to say, can be killed uh, with the overwatch shot, but even better, we hit it right away. 
Nice little hit here. That was lucky. Diva almost was biting the grass. Well, lucky and unlucky at the same time. Lucky because he did not die. Unlucky because, believe it or not, he fell through the ground and started to burn. Frag grenade isn't bad. It's probably needed, although there is a big, massive pack upcoming. But I think the mutant is potentially even the bigger threat. And we need to make sure that we get through his armor. This here hopefully does not trigger another pack. Of course, quite the opposite. It was the only flanking position that did not directly stand next to the mutant. Moving up in the hopes of blowing up the purifier and hence damaging the mutant. That was successful, promotion earned, correctly so. Mutant down. That's good. Still got a Viper. Moving into full cover over here. And you know, Sane is in half cover. I don't like half cover, so might as well go, go for full cover. Not the worst. It actually could have been worse than that. It definitely could have been worse than that. Let's try to... First of all, hit the Viper. Can we? Could get to here. We could get to here without triggering Overwatch. And since we do have a stock, we will automatically get him out of uh, the grip of the Viper. Plus, to be honest, it's a 50-50 to even hit the Viper. So it was a hit, but a grazing hit. Sane takes an 8 protocol. Question is, are we going to heal already or not? Let's take a shot onto the advent, uh, onto the Mac. 
highest chance to hit it, uh, Overwatch is removed. And we could now go to here and just take a pretty nice shot onto the Viper. If it crits, it will kill, because tail and rounds deal extra damage with crits. That's good. Given that we can't really do anything else, might as well heal Sane. Probably going to use uh, the rockets. Figured that that would happen. I'm a bit greedy and I'll take the loot. Advanced Expanded Magazine is good. I like it. Let's get on the Mac. Now we need to consider just moving over here. And that could be an explosion. Nice, worked like a charm. We don't want to get too close to the car either. So let's move up and just kill the mech. Whew. Tough battle. Got a pretty injured team, to be honest, so that will take some some time to heal the wounds. What did we kill? Kill a pack of two? Check. Then... So those two guys. Then ran into a pack of three. One, two... What was the third one? Stun Lancer and what else? I think it was a pack of three, so... And then we went into another pack of three, so we should be done by now. I'm on the move. Unless I'm missing something, of course. Okay, so we got two hacks. And we're very much running out of time here. Soldier Vision, definitely not important. This here, however, is important. So what's our hack bonus? Delays the current dark event projects. Mm. Although we do have permanent dark events, I'm not too fast about it. This here will buy us some time, so that we get the research faster. Come on. Nice one. I think that's probably four or five days that we just won. We're in. Okay, so... Let's move over here. What's over there? Diva begins to reload his weapon. Good copy. Moving on target. 
And we shouldn't see any enemies anymore. Yep, we're done with the enemies, so we can completely just charge out of here. There's probably going to be one set of reinforcements, but I'm not going to sweat about those. Pablo charges over. Divat charges over. And the VIP charges over as well. There are the reinforcements. Usually get them once you start uh, freeing the VIP. But in our case, I would really just leave. VIP and finally Pablo. Almost everyone can extract right away. Only our specialist will need an extra turn. It's not worth fighting the reinforcements. Specifically not if we had such a rough mission. We've got Advent here. Well, time to leave. And as we're standing here, we might just take one shot and see if we can get a bonus kill. The answer is yes, gained one extra ability point and maybe even a promotion, who knows. Yeah, it, it looked like a scrappy mission, but the main problem is you can only do so much against uh, heavy armored uh, units, specifically if they then have AOE weapons. Okay, and now the moment of truth, how many days is everyone going to spend in oh wow sick bay diva is out for almost a month that is so unfortunate i like quick draw but i also like death from above hmm, difficult decision the way that we're using him at the moment we're going for death from above Revival Protocol. Hello, come back. And we got another scientist, which is great. Okay, so all of that is cool. We still had Pablo here to promote to Sergeant. That's great. Diva and Hayward both are taken out for another month so that means they will come into play kind of towards the end of June unless we find a way to get them back earlier the new uniform isn't bad considering but sometimes I do miss that damn sweater yeah can't use any can't use any of our excavations at this point. I'm just going to go with the guerrilla tactics school. I thought whether or not uh, maybe an infirmary could make sense, but that's luck luxury luxurious for us. So it's not going to work. Anyways, shadow chamber codex brain will work very soon. We have the research here. More than halved. I think it was six days. We halved it and then we got another scientist. That's another soldier. Usually the soldiers will start at the highest rank. 
I am inclined to take it because we do have long-term illnesses and there is currently nothing that we immediately need to scan. By the way, did we skip the supply drop somehow? I don't remember that I... I do not remember that... that we could pick up new resistance orders. That's strange. All right, Mike got a promotion. That's cool. Love it. Looks like we've got some new information on the chosen after our last covert up. You're starting to win. And that's not too bad. And that says something. Plus two resistance contacts uh, will at least mean we have enough resistance contacts. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. Facility lead. Mm. Yeah, I guess we could do that. I'm more after the promotion, to be honest. Could get ourselves a nicely upgraded uh, specialist, lieutenant rank, if we wanted. Not bad. But before we do so, let's gather some intel. I would like to have Jessica here. Or instead of that, let's put Mystic up here. Together with Mike Bravo, let's first of all up, um, promote Mike Bravo. There you go, buddy. He had been injured super hard in the first mission. And ever since just spent his time in the mat bay. So let's go for resistance ring and we're going to get more intel. Yeah, we cannot spare an extra um, scientist at this point. Confirm and move on. That's going to be a fast mission. Two more days until we finally get the Codex Brain, which is really what we were after. And we're looking at end of May almost. Perfect, there we go. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this All right. object. So, can we switch to normal research again? Change research. All right. Should have probably finished uh, the half a day for plated armor. At this point, it gets a bit awkward that we still haven't done that. Uh, decrypt the data and this is exactly where we need to go. On all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. We've locked in the coordinates Shannon Tigan. <sighs> wow. But we'll have to make contact with the local resistance cell before we can move to investigate the site. See, that's almost the worst possible location.
let's start making contact and and kind of stopping just shortly before we made contact that way we do have a chance that maybe the other location spawns somewhere closer I doubt it somehow but boy is that far away yeah we're starting or oh, we need to start with that soon six days uh, nine days for the black side vial you know what perfect we can get a soldier and then start to make contact it's pretty much exactly what we wanted to do acid grenade is a nice little add-on so given that we do not have any other options at this point might as well take another experimental grenade almost everything is better than the normal explosive grenades Good, we got our resistance communication facility. That's a nice one. In terms of just getting further um, with our excavation, that is maybe something that we could do right after the guerrilla tactics school, but for now, I would continue going with the GTS. And we got a Grenadier Sergeant. Grenade and ammunition, which we do not really need at this point. Yeah. We have quite a few grenadiers at, at this point, so probably not the best character that we could have gotten. A specialist would have been much better. We do have plenty of sergeants though, so we should be fine if a new mission comes up. I would say we're taking the promotion next, once we're done uh, with the current covert ops. And we're starting to make contact because this here is now going to be kind of the critical path for us. And let's hope that the other spawn is better than the one that we've gotten. All right, 204 supplies or 80 intel. We're, we're going for the 80 intel. Also, this here is pretty pressing, rapid response. We don't want that to happen. But that is the mission for uh, the next time, guys. We got our intel collection almost done. We are halfway through the Shadow Project with a black side vial. We're almost uh, there in making contact. Once we made contact, we, by the way, need to build an, a tower because it's elsewhere is too expensive. Another 80, another 160 just to get to here. Yeah, I already learned some lessons of how to maybe speed it up even a bit more. And probably one of the things that I should do earlier is get the armor upgrade. Just to reduce uh, the time that people are spending in the mat bay. That's quite frankly um, incredibly annoying. We haven't lost a single soldier yet, but you're getting hit from time to time. There's really nothing that you can do about it and just 
sitting there for 36 days is ludicrous. Anyways, that's the end of uh, this episode, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for watching. Next time we're going to take on another real operation. And uh, hopefully we can get some more promotions. Uh, Wrath here could be the one that is going up to Colonel just by being a Reaper and not being targeted. Uh, we got a good Ranger. If Haywire and um, and Divad are coming back and maybe get one more promotion, sort of, that could be that could be enough. Magic Man here could be another alternative. We got a few sergeants now, so whoever makes it uh, to the highest rank uh, will essentially dictate whom we're taking with us. At this point, I'm less confident that we can go with a Templar. I think it's too late, and unless we're like pushing all of uh, the promotions into the Templar, it's not going to work. I could theoretically kill him, and then wait for a new Templar. The newer Templar would start at the highest rank, so Captain in this case, or Lieutenant second highest rank. Um, but yeah, that that would be one option. Yeah, but we don't need to go in with a Templar. It, these here are fine, plus a Reaper should be good enough um, for now. And yeah, other than the armor upgrade, I think I played the rest pretty well. Uh, pretty well. Um, and we're going to do that after the Black Side while we're going to go for the armor upgrade. That's a given. Anyways, guys, um, just one really last thing before we're closing the run. Yeah, yeah, we know that, Bradford. By the way, we've just started to be in June, so from here onwards, there's not uh, much more uh, time left over. Still don't have it. Look at that. We cannot rush our current research. That is so disheartening got a lot of supplies on the other hand which is pretty good and this is where we're going to end today's session if you like the content if you like the challenge feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like um, and as always, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.